Welcome to IFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now, Samido and Karin Yamu seem to be having a little exchange on social media through fans who are leaving comments on their comment section. Now, for those who might not be aware, the deputy president, Rigazi Gashagwa, had some advice for Samido. That is, he needs to put his house in order. And in case he does not do that, he will actually not be allowed to leave the country. That is to have performances, shows abroad as he's still a member of the police force and also that will be the disciplinary action that they will take against him. Let me just play that short clip before we get to what a fan wrote on Karin Nyamo's profile in regards to this so that you can catch up. <laughs> Lakini kuna bahari anatuangusha kidogo. Sasa wewe Samito ucontrol hii watu yako. Mababu sasa. Najua sasa. Kwa hiyo ngwe makonde mengi wako. What do you do Samito? Unajua wewe ni rafiki yangu nitakukatisha chini. Unajua hatutaki wazungu wajue mambo yetu vile tunakaanga hapa. Unajua hii wazungu ni ya mtu moja moja. Sasa mkienda huko ikiwa namna hiyo wanatuelewa sana. Na tutaki mambo yetu itoke huko nje. So wewe upanga panga maneno yako na ukishindwa because you are one of our officers tutaku discipline. Tutakataza wewe kwenda ngambo. Ama kama utaenda utaenda peke yako ndio tusipate aibu. Ona light and so you've had the advice that Samido got from the deputy president regarding Gashagwa that he needs to keep his women in order lest he face disciplinary action. So somebody decided to tell uh, Karen Yamu what the deputy president had said and the advice that he had given to their husband. That is the husband to Edith and Karen Yamu. And that is the husband Samido. So as you can see, Uliskevili Rikiji aliambia husband wenyu na ide our pange ama akue disciplined. And Karen Yamu responded, alipewa pia blip ama ni ile tu missing in action. And so as you can see, Karen Yamu has no good things to say about her baby daddy or rather even protect him. And we can say that is the same thing that he feels as well. Now, we don't understand why they have animosity towards each other. And from this internet exchanges, it seems that maybe they're not even co-parenting right now really well or not seeing each other eye to eye. So somebody decides to tell Samido that he shouldn't be a slave of his past and not to marry a second wife just because she has his kids. And of course, they were referring to Karen Yamu and the fan also urged Samido to focus on building his home with his first wife and that is Edith Ndiritu and Samido had a response for that so as you can see Samido make peace and move on you don't have to marry a second wife by force you ameza kwa kutaka ama kukutega and she's not giving you peace either you have a very mature wife and peaceful and Samido responded in vernacular but basically what he said that he cannot introduce a frog to his mother just because he needs to make people happy. And in fact, this frog that he's referring to, Nizile Chura Zamashamba, you know those ugly black frogs that you can get on the farm? And basically what he's saying, how was he introduced Chura kwa mamake ndio afuraishe watu? Well, as you know, fans of Karen Yamu and Samido, hawachele wangi kupitisha maneno, and they went and took a screenshot sent to Karen Yamu to let her know what her baby daddy was saying, and Karen Yamu had a response for that. As you can see, ata ye ajue kusoma the signs of the times, gone are the days when it mattered what he says. The bleep I saw cannot be unseen. And there you have it, Karen Yamu putting out to her baby daddy that the opinion that he has no longer matters to her. Now it's not clear if Samido was pissed off because Karen Yamu dumped him publicly or is Karen Yamu also pissed off on the other side? Remember during that Dubai drama, Samido held the hand of his wife, first wife, that is Edith walked out with her as he left the security to deal with Karen Yamo. And probably right there and then she knew exactly whose side he will always take. 
which she had already proven a number of times publicly, but this time she decided to choose herself and stop embarrassing herself just because of a man who was not willing to protect her in public and also to claim her that they are together. Remember, Kalen Yamu had said that he woke up that day in Dubai besides her, but that evening ended up otherwise. You're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't turned on a post notification so notified once we have any new uploads. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.